The following podcast contains spoilers and explicit language. Listener discretion is advised. Hello and welcome to Animated Anarchy, where we take a critical look at animated features of all kinds to determine the good and the bad. Hello again, my name is Andrew Dickman and I am joined with... Mike Ruocco. And today we have a very special guest for our movie today. Uh, I would like to welcome uh, a very, very talented artist, a really wonderful person, um, and all-around amazing lady... Geneva Hodgson. Wow, it's me. Yay. How are you doing? I, I'm great now. I and mean, I should also mention Sonic Enthusiast, by the way. Yeah, right? I love Sonic. <laughs> that's, that's our clue for today. Yes, that's that's, that's our doing. one clue. <laughs> Can you guess what it is? It's Winnie the Pooh. No, it's... <laughs> <laughs> um, but yes, uh, we, we had you over today for a special movie. I um, uh, want to try to get some more guests on the show and um, see what they think along with us, because uh, it's always fun to have like a, a, a third mind in the The more opinions, the, pool. the better. Yes. The more <laughs> well, there's a cap-off point. You wouldn't want to have too much. Right, right. <laughs> so, uh, yes... Um, and uh, the movie that we watched today is uh, something that, honestly, I suggested to you because I knew that you were such a, a fan of, of the subject, and uh, I, I thought it was just appropriate. So uh, we're, we're going to be talking about Sonic the Hedgehog, the movie. Or Sonic OVA, for you nerds out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, indeed. So um, uh, give us a little history about... Uh, you and Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, honestly. me and Sonic go way back. Uh, <laughs> well, I, I, I was... I, I remember the first time I ever saw a video game as a child was Sonic 1 at my cousin's house. I must have been four, because that was like 91, right? Mm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so oh, I was, he's, Sonic is a product of the 90s. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, so he coincided perfectly with, uh, like, I don't know, he's just so cool. And it blew my mind at four. And right. it stayed blown my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like it, you the, the character itself was just like really appealing to you especially you know at a young age and and you know it's appealing to me as well i mean mike you also had like a yeah a i bit actually of a... owned because my dad i guess knew a guy who there was a local arcade that was going out of business or something mm -hmm. yeah so we had my my old man must have bought a whole bunch of arcade systems so we had like Contra as an arcade. We had Paperboy Arcade. Yeah. And we had the Sonic the Hedgehog arcade cabinet. And that was my first introduction to Sonic. Right. And I love that system. I mean, I never got past like level three mm. on it. I don't, I never remember. I wow, never, you sucked. I, I know. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah. yeah. And then I really, besides that, and then I had the Game Gear game, and then I played Sonic Adventure 2 mm -hmm. and I tuned it I guess completely out of my mind because <laughs> I'm like who are Which, these guys well that that's kind of where it stops for me I mean like um I've I've I enjoy like right now I enjoy Sonic the Hedgehog in like kind of an ironic scale <laughs> in 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 the sense where it's like I I it's kind of over stayed his welcome a little bit in my eyes and that might be very bad to say especially to uh, many Sonic fans out there, but uh, honestly, it's like, you know, everyone has their tastes. But I, I still like Sonic. I like his design. I've always thought he was really appealing. I mean, when I, I, I grew up as a Nintendo kid, so when Sonic the Hedgehog came out, it was just like, oh, wow, this is a cool new thing that kind of like is on... Uh, the the rival side of Nintendo and and uh, he's, Sonic is alt. Yeah, he's <laughs> Sega is alt and cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it's so weird. It's like because I, I just remember having arguments with people in like uh, the schoolyard about like oh what's cooler Genesis or Nintendo and like I think that started to become a big thing around like Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat and stuff like that. But um, I don't know. Sonic was always like really interesting to me because like his design just feels very. Uh, like classic, like I would say, like uh, he looks like a Felix the Cat. Almost. Yeah, he's very uh, '30s rubber hose sort of thing. Yeah, he's, he's charming and appealing, like early, yeah, like Felix the Cat or yeah. early so, Mickey Mouse. Or so something. he really like he's a symbol. You know, he's like a very iconic. It has a great silhouette. I mean, pe people recognize him, and it, you know, it's like much like a lot of characters out there, like Mario, Mickey, and all that. I mean, that's a really 
good design. So it's nice to have like a character like that that has been around for so long that uh, people still recognize and get yeah, well, it's still like, even though there's been really crappy games lately. But uh, I digress. Um, yeah, no, I, I knew about Sonic the Hedgehog. I, uh, I had a Sega Genesis. I loved the games. Um, I was really, really into the Sonic CD uh, anime intro that they had. Um, and uh, that's kind of what made me really want to see the movie. Because when that was like in a magazine and they said like, oh, this is out on VHS. And uh, I, I guess I spotted it somewhere. And uh, this is back when like anime VHS tapes were uh, like around $50 for just like a 30 minute tape. So I, I actually bought one and, uh, <laughs> I had the song of the hedgehog movie and I watched it and I was confused as a child back then. And wasn't just sure. like, this looks really great. I don't know what's going on, but I love, I love the look of this. And, uh, yeah, we're 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 gonna get right into it. Um, so uh, let's let's start talking about the beginning of this movie. Like, uh, it. I mean, it starts off in, at the island, I guess, where Sonic lives, and uh, uh, Sonic is on vacation. Or wait, no, we're first introduced to Robotnik, like talking about his plan with this hyper metal Sonic, mm-hmm. and uh, he's gonna say like, "I need the life essence of Sonic" or something. That's that's pretty much our establishing view on that whole plot. And uh, then we go to the island, and we see Sonic and Tails are on a vacation. They're relaxing. They're taking time off. Yeah. They're in their home base, though. I mean, this is, that's how most things go with Sonic, is like, they're just relaxing, and then something happens. I mean, that's all. That's actually kind of a classic cartoon thing. You introduce the bad guy, and it's like, now no one can stop me. <laughs> and then you immediately cut to the main, your protagonist having a really good time. Yeah, yeah, no, it's relaxing. like, I mean, that's how, like, a lot of Looney Tunes start off, right? It's like, it's Bugs Bunny relaxing, and then all of a sudden yeah. something happens. Yeah. Well, it, it's especially characters that are, like, supposed to be, like, cool and, like, relaxed and, like, yeah. have an attitude. Like, I mean, <laughs> which Bugs Bunny is all those things, too, if you think about it. Yeah, so. yeah. And, and well, the thing is, is like, uh, with a lot of those classic cartoons, it's like, they're not really antagonizing anyone for a problem it's like the problem comes to them and their then piece they, their piece is disturbed yeah and so they 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 continue the chaos by like just doing whatever afterwards but at the, with this it's like um they're interrupted by a, a old man owl in a uh, <laughs> who has a, no name this, except this, old man yes, yeah this uh, oc old man <laughs> yeah uh, original character do not steal <laughs> those are gonna that's gonna be said a lot in this during this podcast by the way um so yes an original character to this movie is just old man and he's an owl that is like really like lost his wits he can't see he has like those swirly glasses. eyeglasses which is a, a common trope in a lot of anime i've noticed um, the the swirly line glasses. It's only like, that's only a... kooky, senile old men. Well, no, it's like uh, no, like the the what's his head in Sailor Moon had it. I forget his name. Melvin. Milton. Melvin. Melvin. Whatever. Yeah, he's <laughs> Melvin. I forget his real name. Yeah. But yeah. He had like the swirly eyed glasses, and like that's like a that's I think that's supposed to symbolize like nerdiness or something. It's like you're maybe very... like scattered. Probably scatterbrained. Yeah, probably. Um, so. Yeah, I mean, uh, this this old man comes in and basically ruins their vacation with a. He's riding a flaming ship, like that is. Like, he doesn't even realize it's on fire. No, he doesn't. He's and he's flying really recklessly as well. It's just like he just charges right towards Sonic. Well, he's like one of those old people that shouldn't have a driver's license. <laughs> you know, I think it's that sort of thing. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, just like uh, yeah, he's uh, his uh, license is way overdue. So. Yeah. Um, and, uh, well, anyway, so this is where we get the introduction where Sonic is, like, really laid back until something bad happens, and then he hears Tails out there being chased by this... Screaming th- this, for help. Yeah, screaming for... Tails will be screaming a lot in this thing, by the way. And he has, like, a very nasally voice. Well, most of the characters have really nasally... Yeah, the, I mean, yeah. even yeah. I said when we watched it, it sounds like everybody's holding their nose when they recording. <laughs> yeah, it's like, the Sonic, I, I need the... <laughs> Yeah. I'm afraid of lightning. 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. That's pretty good, actually. <laughs> wow. Very go- I told you I'm tails. <laughs> very, very golly jeepersy kind of. Yeah, yeah. Um, Even Sonic, his voice changes like two or three times. Kind of, it well, fluctuates this... between like sl- slightly country, <laughs> slightly nerdy, a little bit rock and roll. No. <laughs> well, this is something that I notice is that he seems to have like a slight accent, but it like disappears. It comes and goes. It's yeah, a really it, indescribable accent too. I have yeah, no idea what I, it is. I mean, I, I wouldn't really, I, I mean, I don't know anything about the voice actor Like, like himself, that line but... where he's like, strange, isn't it? It's like, <laughs> what what is that? Like, it's like not exactly transatlantic. It's like. Yeah, there's like. <laughs> There is like a weird like emphasis on certain dialogue that it, it just uh, it seems like they probably could have done another take, but they were probably <laughs> well. I mean, it's dubbed, so like it's right. like bargain so, basement stuff. So, <laughs> what I'm thinking is like they were watching it while they were like reading it off the script and so while this entire thing was going on it's like oh crap this next scene ha- <laughs> what's my what's my line next so like I think the out of all the actors probably whoever's doing Robotnik does a pretty good job. I yeah, yeah. it right. sounds as I would think Robotnik would sound. Yeah, that I I, I did like his voice a lot. Um, and it I matches the thought it was the most fitting. And it, and at some points it's like I do like Sonic's voice. Um, it, it just seems like it, it changes a lot. Like it, it, it Yeah, I think he was going for something a little unnatural, but I don't know what mm. and I don't know what is interfering with it that's preventing him from sticking with it. Yeah, exactly. It sounds like he's he does. He's not sure about like certain lines. He really pushes it, and then some lines he just doesn't do it. Yeah, that ac- whatever accent. <laughs> right. That is. Yeah. It, it. It. Well, it goes goes without saying with the whole accent thing. It's just like I don't. I don't know if it was intentional or unintentional. It just seems like don't really know where this voice actor comes from. Yeah. And it's just I don't think he knows what to do for Sonic as well. <laughs> so. But um, Sonic is like a character that. Uh, well, I would, like let's 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 talk about his history for a minute with the voice actors because uh, we know uh, Jaleel Jaleel White Urkel who, yeah Urkel the, the guy definitive Sonic the defi- <laughs> <laughs> really that's my that'll opinion. be on his tombstone <laughs> Jaleel White the definitive Sonic oh my god <laughs> I I love I love Jaleel White as Sonic personally you know it's it kinda, fits it works for it, him. It, it's kind of weird. It's like as time has gone by, <laughs> I kind of see that now. It, it's yeah. like it, it seems because like... even the voices today are trying to kind of match that voice from the, uh, the, yeah, the Sonic a, Boom one is just like the most generic voice I've ever heard. Like, yeah. it's just like normal guy yeah. voice. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Sonic the Hedgehog. He's I'm not gonna... even that ca- like no. excited. It's just like. No? Yeah, like, it's just like, I work in an office. <laughs> Me, Sonic the Hedgehog. That's my voice now. Like, I, I can't even imitate that because I don't sound like a guy, but... Right. No, no, but I get what you're saying. Like, um, yeah, I, I kind of noticed that as well because with, with, well, with Sonic Boom, it's like, it's not really an action-based show. It's just kind of like... Uh, like a comedy show where, where just things happen. I haven't seen anything of it, but to me it just looks like an updated Donkey Kong Country TV show. <laughs> oh, my... I can kind of see that. <laughs> oh, like, just looking oh at it, I just, I just see people, like, hanging out in a treehouse going, like, what's going on? Bananas! Like, <laughs> except instead of bananas, they'll be talking about something else. They, but... they do live on an island that's kind of similar to the island mm. that uh, is in the Sonic OVA, I guess. Although, oh, oh, uh... I never noticed when I was younger, but the uh, OVA appears to take place in a post-apocalyptic kind of future. Yeah. Which, yeah. I did not realize when I was younger that, at all. That, well, it's funny because it's like, I, I remember that being a, a thing. Like, they were, like, in a city that was just, like, a completely abandoned. But mm-hmm. when I was when we were watching it, I, I know it's like, wow, this really is, like, this city just it's is abandoned. It's straight up and, New like, York, right? Yeah, and... <laughs> yeah. and, and there's like vines everywhere. the The streets are cracked. It's uh, it's like half sunk into like the ocean. It's like I am Legend. Song. It's like it's very Akira, like kind of. Yeah, yeah, and, and, and uh, uh, that was another thing you mentioned. Like it was like Akira. It was like uh, it was like the ending to Sonic Adventure. You know, yeah. After, the- <laughs> <laughs> after Station Square has been destroyed. Yeah, I was like there. <laughs> 
I don't want to keep going on tangents about it, but it's just I, I just find it funny that the ending to Sonic Adventure just ends with like the city being just completely <laughs> the city demolished. Is destroyed, and that is not resolved, and Sonic runs away. <laughs> yeah, he just runs off. He just runs off and says, like, well, I gotta go get Eggman. All right, bye. It sounds, it sounds, well, this I isn't mean, my shit to worry about. So. I've never played that game. Yeah. So I don't it's <laughs> but I'm not surprised because <laughs> this movie, I have to admit, there are moments where I'm like, there's no setup. To right. This and there's no true, real resolve to it because you don't. Yeah. I, I, I don't. It, I mean, maybe we're, I'm getting ahead of myself here, but mm-hmm. I don't feel like there's any real stake in this movie. Like, there's never a moment where you're like, "Oh my God, Sonic, no." Well, I mean, is there any? And is there ever in any Sonic media true. or or like any video game media really? <laughs> true. It's very. This. I mean, but there's well, no. Well, then then it, that just hails true that this is like the closest to a video game. The yeah. thing that we we, that we have. have with yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so um and uh so let going back the owl uh, brings a message the, the owl <laughs> the owl that sounds very ominous the owl the owl brings, brings a message, a message. <laughs> yeah he um he's a very doddering old fool and I was like oh Mr Sonic I have something from the president yeah, that's pretty good <laughs> it's like, it's, sounds like he's having a stroke sometimes yeah. like. Argh. But uh, yeah, he's basically there to act as a messenger to bring Sonic over to another city, which um, I forgot the name of already. Do you remember? Uh, the, the Sky... Sky... Sky City. Oh my God. It's Sky, Sky something. Sky... Sky Mall. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sky Zone. <laughs> yeah. For, yeah. Land well, of the Sky. Sky Chase Zone. There we go. Angel like, Island Zone. Uh, yeah. Well, regardless, <laughs> it's but in the yes, sky. Whatever it it's is. in the sky, and and we're taken to the White House of. It's a floating city, by the way. We we should mention that um, half I, everything floats up here. <laughs> yeah, I I think everywhere that Sonic and everyone lives is in the sky and on floating platforms and stuff like that. They, Big floating they explain islands. in the movie the sci-fi behind the way the planet works, but I. Don't it goes remember by. It oh my god! Well that explanation goes by so fast. Yeah, it's no- like <laughs> you. It's like you have to rewind it and like pay attention really because I think Knuckles explains it. Yeah, Knuckles is like there's veins of magma and <laughs> there's like ice and stuff. I don't remember because Robotic mentions that there's two dimensions in this world. See, that's land another of the thing. Dark and the land of the sky. That's another oh, thing. Now there, yeah. but now there's like yeah. it's like it's now connected. there's like dimensional things. It's like. Not only is there like a world, but now there's like another dimension. And yeah, there's also some they built a lot of sci-fi into it. At some point, I guess Earth was split into <laughs> two dimensions, and there was magma and and ice and um, sky. Yeah. <laughs> and it's weird because like even in them, they're like, oh, the warp zones coming up, and they'll take warp zones. Yeah, and it's yeah. Like, I guess in this world, there's warp zones. That is such a Captain N thing to say, by the way. It's like there's a warp zone up ahead. All right, let's take it, and they just show Come up and whatever. Yeah, I think. <laughs> I think they were trying to like sort of justify some of the Sonic game stuff elements, yeah. yeah. And Which, like they even I mean, ha- it gets kind of nice, like like uh, as they're running through the land of the darkness or whatever, they're they're dodging like uh, the actual video game stuff, like the spikes and the baddies and the enemies, and stuff. yeah, yeah. And there's yeah. springboards at mm-hmm. random places that they can <laughs> yeah. jump on. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, like they they bring all the video game stuff element in there in sort of like a montage type fashion, which I mean. It's fine if you're gonna do that, do that. It's yeah. it, it's not like they're just walking around like, hey, look a bounce pad, and then they go onto it. Yeah, and, they're yeah. all really. <laughs> it's really beautiful. I, like, there's some really cool animation. Oh, it's beautiful looking. Yeah, yeah. no, no. I and and I was like uh, wondering because I I swear that uh, the Sonic CD animation was done by TMS, your Tokyo Movie Shinsha, who di- that did uh, a lot of the animation for the Animaniacs episodes and Tiny Toons and and uh, uh, a lot of animation and then like. They're the ones that did the, the, all the good episodes of those yeah. series, and <laughs> yeah, like no. they did like Ducktales too, right? Yeah, they like did. The, yeah. they were the one that they always did everything on model. And they also did the movie uh, uh, Little Nemo in Slumberland, yeah. Because yeah. the TMS, they would do stuff that was on model. They kept to the model, mm-hmm. but they also animated it really well. Because usually, yeah, very, very smooth. I mean, nowadays we notice that if if a show is usually very on model, 
the animation gets very stiff mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. or it, it's really off model but it's animated really loose and rubbery or they so do you, the glenn kennedy kick oh so. don't even start with glenn <laughs> but okay. yeah like uh they were consistent in a lot of 90s and late 80s cartoons like it's like really great animation if ever it stands out to you is looking really incredible it's usually them because yeah. everything's really tight and it has like really nice like They'd even japanese the, style it's timing. very noticeable it's They'd, very yeah. Yeah. they put the polish on everything everything oh, yeah. would have a shine or shadow. everything it just it was weird because everything seemed crisper you know mm-hmm. it, it just feel it felt like everything was very much more clean and uh they uh, used really snappy timing it's almost yeah. like even like they use better cameras because even the the quality of the film stock mm-hmm. that they mm-hmm. use is really sharp like those animaniacs episodes that they did are great then you look mm-hmm. at something like glenn kennedy did or another studio it looks like yeah you almost see just it dirt, just looks muddy muddy yeah. and dirty and Bad mm-hmm. cell inking and whatever. Yeah, but so, so anyway, back uh, to but, the president. But yeah, but I mean, like, um, I don't, I don't think that this was done by the same studio at TMS, but it, it was still well done. Um, there was, I mean, there were moments where it's like things kind of looked awkward, but I don't think that could have been helped. I, I think it was right. like, it's one of those things where that I've learned about a lot of anime is that uh, when something is animated, um, they they have like a really tight schedule to do everything, so. Mm-hmm things have to be done really fast. And sometimes when that happens, they don't have time to do fixes right away. Yeah. They they just have to say like, okay, this is fine enough. We have to get this cleaned up and, and moving on. Yeah. And then they kind of like fix stuff later, I've noticed. Because, uh, I, and, and I don't know if that was the case for this one, but um, stuff like the, the new Sailor Moon anime, um, oh, Sailor Moon yeah. Crystal, it's like, there were a ton of things that were wrong with it as soon as it went to TV, but when it went to Blu-ray, all of that stuff was fixed. It's like they had that second chance afterward to kind of like fix all the mistakes that they didn't really have the time to do. It might be easier to do it with digital stuff now, too. Like, I Probably. imagine it was like really difficult yeah. to fix stuff yeah. retroactively when they were like cell painting. Yeah, exactly. And then, and that's another point. It's like, I'm probably, I'm really digressing here, but it's like, uh, that probably wasn't a big factor in the 90s um, yeah. style but, I mean, like, stuff. but even today like we when we did wabbit when we'd send stuff overseas and we come back even if there was a like before we would only see the stuff if it was completely done yeah they would go into the trouble of cleaning it up animating it cleaning up and coloring before they sent it to us and if there was a mistake they had to go back and just reanimate it. Yeah, exactly. Which well, is like, kind that, of like a waste that happens of time. with a lot of um, you know post production stuff. It's like animation comes back, and um, the director and the producer and everyone they 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 overlook the animation that comes back overseas. And if they see a mistake, they have to document that and they have to say like, okay, we we need to fix this. Do we have time to fix this or or not? And and um, sometimes like the schedule can go like really really tight. You know, it's like it, sometimes they can't really fix anything because it's like, oh, we need to get this done in a week. You know, <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> so it's like uh, I, I've noticed that with a lot with the Simpsons stuff. It's like they 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 get really tight on the schedule and then they can't really do anything about it, so they just do whatever. Nip and or, tuck, get it. Yeah, out. yeah. Um, but uh, so Sonic goes to the, see the president. Sonic goes <laughs> see the president <laughs> and his daughter Sarah and his daughter Sarah. Who like, well, they are. This is when we're first. In, well, we're introduced to Doctor Robotnik, who I'm. I'm honestly glad it's named Doctor Robotnik because I've never really liked Eggman. Yeah, this much. is before the Eggman yeah. shift. Yeah, yeah. So um, they meet um, Doctor Robotnik. I have to keep myself from saying Eggman, by the way, because it, it sounds you're, like it's been hammered you, into you. You don't. You don't have to. Say yeah. it. You, we know who you're talking about. So Teddy Roosevelt, walrus. <laughs> <laughs> Teddy Rosa Walrus yeah. is uh, at the president's seat, and he basically is like, oh, it's a trap, of course, um, but he's holding uh, the president and his daughter, Sarah, who is like a cat girl, like very, very anime, you know, the the girl of the group. She and somehow s- stumbled out of another anime and stumbled into Sonic. Yeah, her style is very just... Um, the incidental characters, it's like, aside from the owl, I, I would say that uh, all the other characters are a little bit fitting to the whole style of the thing, uh, of, like, the Sonic... The world. ...idea of the world. And, like, you know, with Robotnik and stuff being the only human that has really been in the games. Um, and then you have uh, the president, who's 
I, I would say all right. And Sarah is just like she's just right out of another anime. It, yeah. It's just it, it, she doesn't really feel like she fits, you know. Um, Another thing too, you don't really see anybody else in this world. Yeah. Besides those five or six characters, uh, there, there's the president's random guy that oh, we yeah, see in butler. one shot. Yeah. yeah. He has like three frames of animation. Yeah. He's very. Yeah. He has a very pointy nose. But there's yeah. nobody there. There's no. no. I mean, the city. Like, yeah. Empty. A, empty cities. Any empty city. There's on the islands. There's I mean, it's suggested there. that people live there, but we don't really see anyone. And even you hear a newscast at one point, but oh yeah, yeah something. Like... It's just those characters, really. <laughs> so he goes, and then yeah, the Robonic. well yeah, Robotnik basically um, explains that. Uh, he like he has like a, um, some sort of a castle or, or kingdom that he has of his own that has been overtaken by a uh, an evil robotic Robot. robotnik like like an evil version of him that's a robot and it's like he 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 explains it like oh I'm not a part of this 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 just happened like somewhere else you know it's like some other alien being came down to my realm and started you know, taking over my city and uh, now I need some help and there's a generator that is going to explode in a little bit if there's too much energy in it. It'll destroy the planet. Yeah, it's like, it's, there. there's a lot of exposition <laughs> by Robotnik <laughs> about like what Sonic needs to do and, uh, you know, then, then Sonic is like, you know, he's a laid back jerk and says yeah. like, ah, oh, why should I worry about your dumb old planet and... And then everyone begs him because I, I guess there's like stakes involved because there would be a really huge explosion that would destroy. Disrupt the planet. Yeah, probably the planet or something like that. I don't really know what the stakes are exactly. Uh, Sonic doesn't believe him though. No. Like, so, but then everyone else is like, but what if he is You're the telling only person. the truth? Yeah. yeah but it, <laughs> yeah, Tails. Tails is Tails, so is re- Tails is really trusting on this. It's like, what if it's one of those times where Robotnik isn't evil? And even he goes, like, he's given a watch. And what does he say? He goes, thanks. Thanks, Robotnik. <laughs> thanks, Robotnik. It's so... Thanks, Robotnik. He's so cute. <laughs> I'm, his, his voice We'll say right too. now, Tails is your favorite character. Tails is the best. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I won't, I won't deny you that. Um, so yeah, okay, so then we have the montage of Sonic and Tails, like, going off and, uh, into this apocalyptic city that has been taken over by this, uh, evil Robotnik. Oh, those robots that Robotnik was talking about, too, it's like, those kind of disappeared. The Frieza robots. Oh, yeah, they looked like Frieza for some reason. They appeared for, like... Yeah, in that one... Ch- just describes? in, like, in, in the backstory. Yeah, yeah and then there's then no, nothing really. we don't see him really. again. Yeah. There's really no other robots. No, there really isn't anything yeah. else. I mean, there's other enemies and stuff, but that those particular Mewtwo centipede. robots are just gone. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, anyway, so they get there, and uh, then they're immediately introduced to the evil robot... Uh, uh, robotnik. Uh, robotnik. Giant metal giant, robot. giant metal Robotnik. But it turns out that it was actually Sarah and Robotnik in the robot the whole time. Yeah, and It was just kind of stupid, because I'm like, why did she go along with him? <laughs> well, I mean, like, the, they set it up so that she wants to go on a drive, because she's being a total brat, and she's like, I want to get out of here. Oh my god, and, she uh, a brat. No, but I think it's, <laughs> I think it's charming. Uh, but, uh, uh, so, uh, yeah, like, well, she's she like, I want to go on a drive, and then so Robotnik's like, okay, drive this thing, and then she's like, yay, and then she gets in, and then he gets in with her, and I don't know how she doesn't realize that she's fighting Sonic while... But, I mean, I mean yeah, maybe, maybe like, there's no screen. I don't know how these robots work. Like, <laughs> Yeah, because I guess Robotnik is controlling it the entire time, and she's kind of, like, in the back, like, looking at her iPod or something. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, it's so... It's weird, but they have a... It is be- really weird, It could, because it's like, we all... The audience knows that Robotnik is the one behind all of this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And... But it's like the other characters really don't know. They're just being f- tricked into this. So it's one of those things. It's like, ah, the audience is all the wiser. It's just how this is going to yeah. all come into play. And, and and that whole thing with the robot and when, they, and when Sarah jumps into it with Robotnik, it's like there is that moment where it's like, wait, what is that? What did they just get into? And then it's like, but you realize it's like, oh, that was the robot that mm-hmm. they... Uh, they, they that Sonic was fighting later on, and and there's like a, you know, there's a long fight scene between uh, the the giant metal Robotnik and uh, Tails and Sonic. Tails and Which Sonic, is pretty cool. It was well, really cute. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> you just find this movie adorable, don't you? I really do. I think it's great looking and it's really funny and charming. <laughs> there are some great drawings in this. It's like, honestly, this this design of Sonic is probably, to me, the most appealing of all the Sonic designs that have been out there. it evokes the classic Sonic. Yeah. And, and I don't want to keep... I don't want to say that like a classic Sonic because, you know, everything changes, everything becomes new once in a while. But it is one of the most appealing designs of his history. Yeah, definitely. And um, now he just looks like Garfield. He's <laughs> he's got the same proportions as Garfield. Yeah, he's got a tiny little ball body. He's long legs. Oh no, and the new one, he's got kind of like a like a like a shapely, like a, yeah, like a, like like a, a triangle yeah. chest. Yeah, <laughs> but for a while it was just a a ball yeah, with a tail. Yeah, he has a little like cute little. Button. Yeah, but then he had these big, and then you look at him next to. I mean, I remember finding years ago, <laughs> you know, him with his arms crossed, with like his doing his little sign. Yeah. yeah. And then I found a picture of Garfield in almost the same exact pose, <laughs> yeah. and I put him back to back. Yeah. Wait, are you talking about like Sonic Three, Sonic? Like, like I'm talking like, well, there was a point where later they they kept pushing up, Sonic's yeah, design further him. and updating him to the point where he had like. The green in his eyes, and he had the oh, really so sharp Sonic nose. Oh, Sonic Adventure. Right. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. But, I mean, they progressively made him more. I call him Graffiti Sonic, because it's like, that's that's like the point where yeah, it's like... kind of what they were Jack Ryan Radio Sonic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he kind of looks... Era. Yeah, he kind of looks like like a spray paint graffiti type of... Yeah, he's got yeah. that... Like a he's got He's got a more of a, like a... That sort of aesthetic. But yeah. he's kind of leaned out over mm-hmm. the course of the last Yeah, they, they years. kind of made him like... He's like a car, you know? It's like he's gotten a little bit more sleek... And angular. And, and angular, and then as the time went by, it's like he's a little bit more practical. Yeah. And um, they, I mean, they still want to make him look cool and, and appealing and everything, but it's like, uh, it's not like you know the old classic, uh, uh, like cute little rickety, like cute little hedgehog Sonic. Yeah. And and then it turns into like a hot rod, and then yeah, <laughs> and, and now he's, now he's a of, sedan. And now it's sort of like <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's probably about right. Like I feel like they made him '90s cool to begin with, then they made him '2000s cool in the reboot, and then they just like didn't bother making him a different kind of cool. Yeah, and I feel like they'd be better off going like retro cool with him, but right. they haven't taken that route for some reason. No, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so either way, <laughs> Sonic is Garfield. Sonic is Garfield. No, <laughs> no um. So uh, they they fight the robot. They fight the robot at one point. Like <laughs> the 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 robot like shoots out like sticky goo from glue his rear, or something. yeah, from like his back end, and just like like glue like shoots right out of his ass and onto Sonic and Tails, and they're stuck. And at this point, it's like we're introduced to Knuckles, who has has like a, um, a hat, like a hat, he like a, a crocodile gun Dundee, Dundee hat. hat. He's from Australia. It looks Get so it? cool. Yeah. <laughs> I love him with his hat. And well, yeah, I mean like well all the characters don't wear any clothing except for like shoes and gloves. Apparently Sonic wears a really cool outfit in his spare time that we never see on him. Oh in yeah, this movie, that's though. right. Like <laughs> the old man like wears some clothes. Well, we'll get to that. But <laughs> so weird. Yeah, it, there's a lot of weird stuff in this. And but the the biggest charm of this to me is just like some of the lines that the characters spew out, mm-hmm. um, and um, the the way that uh, like Tails will say a line is just funny because it's like he'll go from like this cute nasally voice to like Rrr! yeah he like kind of Chucky Finsters out once in a while it's, yeah. I, I I find it really charming Chucky but... Finsters out yeah a little bit like that Rrr! like Rrr! yeah. <laughs> I guess it's also like a Charlie Brownie thing. I don't know. Yeah. I yeah. don't know, Sonic. <laughs> I don't know, Tommy. Oh! <laughs> it's that nasally Tommy. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, Knuckles is introduced. He has a hat. Um, he looks he looks cool with the hat. I'll, he looks I'll admit really it. Cool. What really bothers me is that he's flying now. He, he, he just can, floats. He just floats. Look, because in the Sonic comics, he's infused with the power of the Chaos Emerald, so he can float. I was wondering when you would go straight to the comics. I don't know anything because about the comics, so... I know everything about the comics, and it's canon in the comics, so... 
I feel like, well, I feel I'm, like, but for me, I'm, I'm like, going through like video game logic. I know Knuckles like floats. He can, he can, he can, he glide. can glide. Well, it's like he can glide. Yeah. He, so it's like it's not really flying. Yeah. But, but here it's like he is clearly just like stuck levita- in the air. Like he's got levitating. great kazoo powers. He just leans it. Hello, dum dum. And just sort of <laughs> yeah. leans up well, what's, to. What's interesting to me is that Knuckles in the, now that I'm like seeing it and thinking about it, Knuckles in this canon isn't really the guardian of the cast emerald. He's like a treasure hunter. Yeah, he's a treasure hunter. So. Like, I don't know why he would have gotten Chaos Emerald powers if... if Maybe they're in that Ryu bag that he's, like, carrying around. Like, <laughs> you know, that, that vagabond, like... Like, for me... Where he's, like, he's just... Yeah. He, <laughs> it's like, he, either carrying, like, a bag of sand or it's its laundry. I don't yeah. know. Like, I'm, I'm going by Plinket rules here, where it's just, like, I don't want to hear anything about any books. <laughs> yeah. I just want... I'm just looking at the video games. I'm just here. looking at the... Because that's I'm at the time... At the I don't know. Were the comics around by the time this was out? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, the comics were going oh since, my God, like, they've... what, 92, 3? They've been, like, they've been going. But in Japan, really? they got those comics, Oh, too. no, I don't think so. No. But did they have their own? Like, They did they have their own, their own they but I haven't... Manga, but I don't... I haven't seen many of it. I, I've. <laughs> it's not like the same. Like it's no. not like a long running series. Like and it and Europe has like a different Sonic mm-hmm. comic yeah. as well, which goes by a different storyline and different rules. So it's like, it, it it's like alternate universe sort of stuff. It's like there's the Archie universe, then there's the video game universe, then there's the TV shows universe. Sonic has so many universes. It's such a singular, it's, beautiful, it's like, like, there's nothing else like it. There, there I, I can't think of anything else that's from the last 20 years that's had more interpretations. Yeah, and like, it sounds like, if I remember, like, someone was like, oh, you should check out this comic, you'll love it. But not this artist renditions. This one, it's like it's like when you go like to the comic book shop. It's like, yeah. okay. How many reboots of Spider Man are there? And then what is is he still Peter Parker in this world? Yeah, but in this one he's African American. Right. Or in this one he's, uh, you know, an alien. Or in this one, or this one's something. Gwen. And this yeah, one. like yeah. I, it's it's, it's weird because like, it, it's kind of convoluted. Like well, where do you start? It's kind of neat that there are so many different interpretations to one thing, and mm-hmm. I, I do appreciate that. Though so there isn't really one single canon to it. It's just like, okay, so this is how the comic goes about these rules, and like, it's kind of like, you know, with vampires and stuff like that. It's like, you know how there's so many different interpretations of vampires? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like... Sonic's gonna be like that in 200 years. People are gonna be like, I love Sonic's and He's, then there'll be like different. Sonic's like, gonna be like a sparkly like. Yeah, there'll be like different. <laughs> there'll be like different novels, and people will be like, "Oh, I want to fuck a Sonic." Oh my god! <laughs> I think we already live in that. No, 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 no. I mean, like a Sonic, like in a different way. Like, <laughs> like a, so- a Sonic is so like in, is a vampire. You know, like there are multiple Sonics out there. This is a, this, this is, is very, in the, this in is the very cri- cryptozoology <laughs> kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's Bigfoot, a Sonic, there's Sasquatch. Be- Sonic becomes like a yeah. Sonic is an urban urban legend yeah. creature the, the, the <laughs> legend of the sonic like a phoenix or a, or oh a troll my God. or a... i mean sonic's got to go into the public domain eventually <laughs> makes yeah. sense it'll be like a frankenstein you but know it's... frankenstein was originally somebody's character and now you just see frankensteins and things same with yeah. dracula dracula's <laughs> another thing which just mm-hmm. started with a story yeah and then it becomes this giant now vampires mm-hmm. are its own thing yeah and zombies and all that stuff too everything but, i mean I, and well, it's like any anything can be t- interpreted differently. So it's like it's it's really neat that it has that ability to kind of not follow a certain canon. Mm-hmm. So if someone wanted to make a TV show of it, they could just do it this way. It's like well, with Sonic Boom. It's like it, it, that's another. It's like an interpretation of Sonic mm-hmm. that is different from what is usually considered normal well i, I mean suppose. like if you actually went by like bare bones sega sonic stuff i mean there's not a lot to it you couldn't really sustain it for a very no, long no. story well i mean no, you no. could flesh it out more like, but yeah, then you then it just becomes a different interpretation true. exactly <laughs> exactly, exactly. Like, yeah. like something like because that's know. how the archie comics started mm-hmm. like, just like like i don't know jack shit about sonic but like you look at sonic compared to say like how Mario has been treated mm-hmm. like besides what maybe the TV show the cartoon right. and maybe the, well, mo- with Mario, and the movie yeah besides that everything is still re- even the comics are relatively still like well, it, it, the it's, same kind yeah. of yeah well it, it started off as like a really simplistic concept it's like mo- with Mario it's just like you know Mario guy saves, a, saves princess. a princess from a creature and with Sonic it's like um, Sonic saves animals his animal Obonic. friends from from the man from the man yeah <laughs> It's so it's Bambi in the future. So don't let, yeah. So don't let, he's Bambi. He's the great prince of the forest. <laughs> Bambi. 
whenever you get up. Sonic. Sonic. <laughs> Man, Man is, is in, in the forest. forest. <laughs> he lost his a mom. A hedgehog does not woo-hoo. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god did you seriously go for the mid cool there <laughs> so yes sweet. i did oh my god you That's... have no you have no idea how many times we've actually quoted that <laughs> so weird. but like even like i could just but going back to this movie yes I, this but, movie but I, I have to say like rap i mean not wrapping it up but just saying well going into it there's so much in it that i'm like i it feels like there was something that I missed before it. Like, it almost feels like, oh, who are these characters? What is this world? They don't really establish a lot, so going yeah. in, I mean, at least for me. Well, here, here's the thing that I wanted to talk about, um, especially with this, is that um, I do like that there isn't a huge amount of backstory that pe- that has to be told to you, like, up front. Because um, it with a lot of the games, it's left up to interpretation. You know, mm-hmm. it, it, it's like there really isn't a huge story that you, you can follow. It's like if you read the manual, yeah, there's a little blurb in there about a story. But when you're playing it, there's no real, like, introduction. It's just like, True. let let's start and just just go with it just yeah, go with sure. it and, you, and you'll like figure it out on your own right and sonic goes from like yeah the first level is usually like the the forest or jungle level mm-hmm. then you have magma levels and ice yeah levels and, it, and it just continues on and it's just like it, it's kind of like as you're playing it you're in your head you're kind of like bringing the pieces together and you can come up with your own interpretation of this well it goes back to the whole thing of like interpreting it for you know other media and stuff like that so with this, it's uh, when you when I mean when you're given something like a movie or a show, um, characters when they're introduced to you, it's kind of like oh hey this is uh, the girl character and she does this and uh, this is also my buddy friend and we met like on a cave expedition or something like that, and it they just give you like a little bit more uh, backstory about everything that happens and. Instead of it like being shown to you, and then you can kind of like bring the pieces together by how they all met together and how they know each other. It's like if you just met someone and like watching them from a distance, and suddenly one of their friends comes by and you see them saying, like, Oh, hey, we know that guy. Hey, how's it going? And they say hi. It's like you realize, Oh, they know that person. Yeah. And then it kind of like the relationship starts when that conversation between those characters begins. You know, yeah. So it's like when they when the old man comes in, they just say like, it's like, hey, it's that old man again. It's like, uh, what does he want this time? And and he comes in, you find out he's a doddering old fool, and he's like a a messenger of some sort. So and, I guess they kind of set you up just, but just before it happens. Yeah, and and also with otherwise the, you're being dragged. And through. also it's like you're told there's a president, and then you meet the president, and then you realize, oh, the president has a daughter, and then that's Sarah, and then you realize that she, you know, she's like a annoying little brat that is like being held hostage by Doctor Robotnik, and uh, Doctor Robotnik is also like he's supposed to be a menace. You know, it's like you you realize right off the bat that he's like this right you know evil idiot that wants to either destroy the world or destroy sonic and like sonic is always in the way it's stuff like that it's like once you continue watching it the pieces are put into place and then it's like not everything has to really be directly explained to you unless it's like one of those exposition things where oh my god now all of a sudden knuckles is spurting out all this nonsense about the world and and uh, <laughs> I mean, like, yeah they kind of they kind of squeeze in the exposition stuff yeah. later yeah but and, i mean but i mean up to you like just to you guys what would you guys say like if if you showed someone just this as an introduction to sonic if some if someone in japan because it's an ova it aired on tv mm-hmm. at one point i think so, so yeah so if someone was watching this and they didn't know sonic and they didn't know sonic at all and they were brought it do you think it would be too much for them to kind of comprehend that i don't they, know why somebody I, would watch that unless they knew what sonic yeah, was. <laughs> yeah exactly so. that's that's true because if someone saw this um without knowing sonic i think they would probably go nuts it's probably like yeah it, it, it's one of the SpongeBob movie yeah, exactly. Well, that Spongebob goes without movie. with with everything with any with any established thing already. It's like yeah. I mean, if you're going into a movie that's about Hey Arnold, you kind of have to already have seen the Hey Arnold show yeah. in order to know what's going and on. I, like I said, I don't really know why you'd want to go see like an obviously licensed movie unless you were a fan of the original thing. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So it's like it kind of lessens the blow in a bit. Mm-hmm. So. 
if a fan comes to see it, it's like they they already know a lot about it already. So it's like True, it, right? it, it, yeah. it it kind of like it's all right. But honestly, yes, if a if a new person came to see this thing, they would be like, I really don't get what's going on, and and I don't understand this world. I don't understand these characters. What what relation are they? And yeah, they, you, you know, can't you like, can't go into it expecting like a Pixar movie. Right, or like, yeah, like maybe, <laughs> no, no. Like maybe for me, it's different. Like I know Sonic, I know mm-hmm. Tails, I know Robotnik, mm-hmm. I know Knuckles to an extent. Yeah, but you go. I mean, like I know those four things, but you go into this movie and then there's all this other stuff, and I'm like, this isn't even for someone like me who's played the video game. Mm-hmm. This, I'm it's like, like this there's new not, stuff, right? There's new stuff, and I'm like, this isn't. I don't know why, but this doesn't feel like. I mean, it feels like Sonic, but at the same time, it doesn't. Yeah, and I and I guess that's like the kind of point that I'm trying to make in that it's like, you know, it it, it is Sonic, but at the same time, it really isn't. It's a, it's just like a different interpretation. I remember years ago seeing there was a apparently a Super Mario movie. Yeah, the the oh god, there was, there was oh a, that's. That's a classic. The, 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 yeah, the, the, the animated. I, I love your face yeah. beams every time we mention like a crappy movie. <laughs> well, I, mean, I, I mean the the, 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 the the animated one. The animated movie? There's an animated There's movie? an animated movie? Yeah. Where? I, and I saw it online. It was oh, the, wait. Are you talking about that? Um, Rescue the Princess? Is it an anime? Yeah. It, Oh no! I know what you're talking about, and that's another OVA where you get sucked into the TV. Or yeah, something? and and that was like a little um, like one-off TV special that they made, where it was like uh, we have like the the Mario series, but we're going to tell it in like uh, these th- three section blurbs that are kind of like fairy tales, because it's like there's like I this, remember him having to go a, into the TV and rescue. Uh, I guess Princess Tolstoy. I think from that's Bowser. how it. I think that introduced yeah, the, I think that's Luigi like an introduction to it. And stuff. But I don't, I don't really think that's like you know, it's supposed to be a canon thing. You know, right. it's like it, it, I think it was just like a really like a special of some sort. Yeah. That was. I mean, I know we're going on a completely different tangent. Yeah, but I mean, it's just like it's weird <laughs> to me. That to me, that felt like like even going in knowing Mario, it was like oh, they they match it almost exactly like the the game. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, and. And that's the direction they wanted to take it. And with this, it's like they wanted to take it into, into the direction of like they wanted it to be like the games, but at the same time, they kind of wanted to make their own world. Yeah, you know, for it. So, um, at any rate, apocalyptic, crazy. Yes, post. Opposed- <laughs> New York. Yeah, City, the end of the world. Clearly, with Sonic New York City. It. Yeah. Um, so anyway, all of this is basically leading to uh, this uh, the scan. This reveal of like Sonic is supposed to stop this uh, uh, generator. This ge- yes, this generator that uh, is going to explode, and they stop it. But at the same time, it's like it's like a, it's another trap. Um, Sonic gets caught in this like uh, this energy field, and uh, he's being scanned, and all of this information of him is being sucked into Hyper Metal Sonic, <laughs> which is Mecha Sonic or Metal Sonic or whoever he is, he, Robot Sonic. Of some sort, mm-hmm. I'm sure someone out there is going to correct me. I I know there are so many. Well, in this damn movie, things. he's hyper metal. He's hyper Sonic. metal Sonic. Yes. Okay. Sorry. And uh, yes, uh, basically, it's like he's supposed to be everything that Sonic is, except he's evil. And they're 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 well, he's not evil as as you can remember from the end, <laughs> right? But he's like hooked up to Sonic's brain. So he I knows guess. every they're Sonic's connected. every thought, every memory, and, everything. And, and 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 Sonic gets to know things in in hyper metal Sonic's brain too, which mm-hmm. is why he gets horny later when he looks up the princess's <laughs> dress, if you would recall. <laughs> yeah, there are a couple perverted moments in this, like like tails. Is on Sarah, and then Knuckles is like, "What are you doing, Tails?" Yeah, Knuckles makes him feel very ashamed, and it was just sad I'm because I thought he was jealous. So I thought he was oh, jealous. Oh, really? I don't know. Maybe I guess. Whoa! <laughs> and I think he even says something like, "Of all people, Tails." Yeah. Something. Oh, I didn't. I I always assumed it was because like Tails was like you know clutching onto her breast like as in like don't be a pervert you're a child <laughs> and and tails is ashamed it did not occur to me that he might have been jealous right yeah because well this is the only woman in this entire world, world. <laughs> in, this, in this thing so yeah um but yeah there, there is that whole connection thing it's like i didn't really get that at first because when i first when i first watched this as a kid i was just like why are they 
I mean, what kind of connection do they have? I know that they took whatever Sonic was and put it into this robot, and now it's like he's basically fighting a copy of himself. But I didn't really get that uh, their connection kid. thing. Mm-hmm. So I guess that makes sense of why he's like going all weird mm-hmm. at that one part. That's why it's like really fucked up at the end when Metal Sonic like <laughs> dies in the magma. Like... It, Sonic oh can feel death there. That's really wild if you think about it. Oh my god! Yeah, we well, yeah. There's this huge. I mean, there's this you huge and fight. Mewtwo fight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's this Just, huge fight between um, Hyper Metal Sonic and Sonic, and 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 there's like uh, there's some convoluted thing about um, Tails they go, they go connecting his watch to Metal Sonic at some point. Yeah, there. Um, and then they have to go to the North Pole because if they destroy the what is it like a weird the glacier like an, is a ligament connecting the two worlds together? i guess so yeah that, and if the magma will make it melt and yeah if the magma destroys that then the whole world will go into chaos and it'll just like explode which makes me wonder why why robotnik would want that in the first place he wants to kill everybody but him and sarah so that so that well uh, robotnik's repop- mo has always been to get rid of uh, organic life forms right because so, yeah. like robot but wouldn't he die as well <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I think his head is too far up his yeah. own egg. Egg for him to yeah. But but also there's he's a, a pain there's in even his a egg. weird moment where he's like he's like here you go Sarah here's a is it Sarah's her name yeah, yeah. here's a dress he's like oh why did you give me a wedding dress because I want to get married to you and it's like you didn't put two and two together. <laughs> yeah. Why did yeah, you give me this wedding she, dress, Robotnik? She, like, immediately she's supposed goes to for be this. like 13. She's very dumb. She's 13? Oh my god. Uh, I'm pretty sure she's supposed to be like 13. No. Either 13 or 15 or something in between. I can see 15. She's supposed maybe. to be really young. So I mean, Robotnik's you a pedophile? <laughs> well, yeah. It's really gross. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is gross, but I didn't think I it would mean, be that Sonic's gross. Sonic's only 15. Yeah, but isn't that like he's I, it's I, like I he's never... older in like hedgehog gears or something? No, he's just 15. Huh, okay, I never really, I never really thought of that, honestly. He's Is sixteen I, in the in the comics. For... <laughs> I, I Wait, he might be seventeen. I, I just think someone like Sonic is like, he's like thirty nine. Like Bugs now. Bunny or Mickey Mouse, you can't really pinpoint an age on him, but I guess they did no, in the comics. In the, not even in the comics. I think it was in the, like the 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 old Genesis game manual. Didn't you have a kid in the comics? No. Yeah, you had a kid, didn't no, you? No, what are you talking about? Every, every I, cartoon I... character has nephews, not kids. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nephews and nieces. I swear at some point there was like, like he had like a kid or something and they named him some weird. If you're talking about the comics, there are some like alternate future like timelines that they explored stories in. Don't look at each other like that. Uh, like they explore stories uh, uh, where where he and Princess Sally have children in the future. Okay, so it is uh, alternate But universe. that's alternate universe shit oh, okay. and it was arguably totally destroyed when they rebooted the series not that long ago. Like, I mean, I guess they rebooted the world more than the series. This, is, this is probably the nerdiest this podcast has ever been about a single subject. I swear to God. Well, I mean, it, it could have happened not sooner had you talked about Sonic yeah. with me here. The only, it's funny. The only time, like, I, Andrew has showed me uh, Ken Pender's comics. Oh, yeah. And I've never mm. seen them before. I'm like, oh, my God. Those covers are delicious. I mean, <laughs> delicious. they're like... I, the, I've never heard you one... describe anything as delicious <laughs> besides... Ken, you've any... never heard him talk about Ken Pender's before, apparently. No, <laughs> I, I, I just, like, I just love, like, the covers of a lot of these comics where there's one where Sonic is, like, clutching... He, he's, like, holding himself in the fetal position, looking and he's depressed crying as about, hell. about Princess He's Sally. crying, and he's clutching a wedding invitation. Mm-hmm. And... That is like one of the most brilliant covers that I've ever seen, and I just think to myself, I don't think like, you ever show me that, this, but I, this is where Sonic the Hedgehog went. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ken Penders, he's, he's a brilliant man. Yeah, I I can't believe I have all of those comics now. Ironically. Wow! Wait, when did you did you, you you read them all? No, I haven't read them all yet, but I I finally like you bought I, them all. Yeah, well, a lot of them have been donations by folks who wanted to get rid of them and, and oh, stuff. And, oh my god! And people like, just give you Sonic comics. I, what well, the fuck? Why do people give me Sonic comics? I am definitely I can, more brand associated. I can give you some. I, I, I mean, <laughs> I would need to look through. There's only some that I'm missing. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah. But yeah, there's a lot of weird comic stuff. And it's like, at some point, I'm going to have to like talk about it on my own. You, I, I'm, yeah, I don't won't, rope me into it. <laughs> I won't, I won't rope, I'm happy under, reading rope my, me into it. I'm oh, rope. yeah. If you want, we can do another podcast. Like, yeah. just Sonic Yeah. Yeah. I'll, while you, while I'll read my Scrooge McDuck comics, yeah. you guys can go Sonic it up for a while. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, um, so at some point there is in this fight, um, all all the characters are involved in this. The president comes in with the owl guy, which you'd think like the president would have like a better chauffeur of some sort, like uh, sending him to places. But they ultimately crash into this into this uh, uh, ice bridge. Yeah, and uh, they're about to die because the ship is on fire. It was coincid like coincidentally they're in danger. They, yeah, they get yeah, themselves yeah. in danger out of nowhere. And um, Hyper Metal Sonic crashes into it, and or does Sonic kick him into it or something? Or they fight, and I think Sonic. Kind yeah, of they just... fight. Well, they're they're trying to get him out. Like Knuckles even tries to like hit the glass. Knuckles, but he use can't. your knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> knuckles is yeah he's his knuckles he can aren't dig very through effective. solid rock but he can't break a glass window there's a lot of inconsistency in this he's got sharp pointy nipple knuckles <laughs> he can clearly break glass those, if he really those points fist them. nipples <laughs> yeah so um but yeah the ship explodes um and uh hypermetal sonic comes out and he has saved the president and the owl that were trapped in there. And then there's this sudden realization, like, Sonic is like, oh, God, maybe he's not evil after all. <laughs> um, yeah, he, re- he well, well uh, Hyper Metal Sonic uh, acts out of love. And that, that, that... That's why he wants to destroy the world, it's out of love. <laughs> no, no, Sonic's personality finally shines through, and it, it actually is a pretty decent parallel, because Sonic acts like shit and is an asshole, but, that, but he really loves, he loves and will do what's so right. So we're mostly rooting for Hyper Metal Sonic in this entire Well, thing. I mean, by the end, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then he sacrifices himself. He says there can only be one because that's also something that Sonic thinks. No, he... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It's so he weird. It's like you put more thought into that than I have. I, actually. Well, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it, it's funny that. Uh, so there's that scene like in Star Star Wars three. I was like, oh, it's Star Wars Episode three. Yeah, where it's like Anakin is in the lava and he's like a just a torso with one arm. Yeah, just like Obi Wan cuts off and, his limbs. Yeah, and no, so. he's like, I have the high ground and. But uh, Sonic like is trying to save Metal Sonic because he realizes like oh wait maybe he's might be a good guy. He's got some good in him. Yeah, he's got some good in him. And then <laughs> Hyper Metal Sonic like slaps his hand away from him and. Probably one of my favorite lines in this entire thing, and how it's read. There is only one Sonic, <laughs> and then he promptly just goes into the lava. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then Sonic knows death. Yeah, yeah, and that that was like the creepy thing that you mentioned, the and, and it just like dawned on me as like, oh my god, since they're like linked. Now Sonic knows the, the feeling of hot the, lava the, surrounding his body. The movie should mm-hmm. the movie should have ended with everyone like, well, at least the world is safe, right, Sonic? And Sonic? he's just like, and he's just catatonic, <laughs> just looking down at the ground, like, I know what death is like. I have seen, I have seen the end times. I've felt it. There is no afterlife after this. <laughs> it's only darkness. <laughs> only darkness. First heat, then pain, then nothing. <laughs> Maybe Metal Sonic went to heaven, and now Sonic Robot is half heaven. in heaven. Yeah, well, you know, there's got, <laughs> there's got to be some, like, silver lining to this. <laughs> but it all ends with, like, um, they're all laughing at Robotnik because he got blowed up by one of his own things. A turtle. A turtle. A turtle blew up a turtle, in his face. Yeah, a turtle rocket of some sort. And um, then everyone laughs, and then Knuckles hits Sonic. And so it's like, there, now we're even. And then they run off. It's like, wait, hang on. And they just leave them there. And uh, then they're like, then they're just chasing each other. And it's a, it's a typical anime ending. Or like, I should say it's like a, like, kind of like a Scooby-Doo ending almost. Where like everyone's laughing and then. And then Scooby so- eats something. And then <laughs> yeah. says something really funny. And then it goes to black. Right. <laughs> so that is Sonic the movie. And um, to to sum it all up, honestly, uh, 
it's a really really beautiful looking charming yeah it, like the designs are really neat i love like the thing about a lot of anime is that they're really good with conserving um making things look really epic while keeping it conservative like like it's very economical yeah yeah and and it's like they know how to really make the pose work um to to whatever the scene is and whenever there's an action thing it's like they can really do like uh very very good keyframing like like very good like uh yeah the animation is really pretty solid spot on, yeah. so that it yeah, works and, with the limitations and that's what i really like it's like it's 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 limited but at the same time it's like they really can do something good with that limitation yeah mm-hmm. so it's like there's a beautiful beautiful background background and then there's like in the distance you see like this really epic like explosion that is very uh stylistic yeah. and very uh the effects are really cool yeah, yeah yeah um so they made use with a lot of the tools that they had so heck i mean i i, I can't really say anything wrong about uh how it looks and and yeah. the animation and stuff like that. The it character is, models are super cute. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'm I'm not really a person that like normally enjoys anime, but it's like I, there's I mean there's so much that just looks samey to me. It's just like it, it's kind of like the same designs and the same sort of uh, tropes and the same sort of like things that would happen. But with this, it's like this is like a stylistic anime, and it's like uh, that. That really works for me, and and it's not just because it's Sonic. It's just like they're doing something that is not of the norm, you know. It, it, it's like it, it it they have like that really mascotty looking character, and they're just having fun with it. Yeah, you know? that's a good point. So yeah, I, I it works. It, it works. It's like and I <laughs> there's so many there's so many anime tropes in this though, but it's like I I. It really does appeal to me. The story, it's like the pacing is just very sporadic. Disjointed. Yeah, it's it's very sporadic. And it's like, I, I think that's just like a normal thing with, with most animes. But it, with this, it's like th- we have these moments of calm where uh, those 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 loving, loving pans across this background. And uh, then all of a sudden there's an action and then they say something and it's really, really fast, like speed racer fast. And uh, it's like it's a lot of information to take up at once, and it just comes at you like immediately. So it's like that sort of thing that you just kind of have to, uh, just kind of have to deal with. But um, I, I think you can, if you watch it a couple times, you can probably figure out what's going on. <laughs> like I mean, I know, I know, like I would totally. It's there's something about it that is charming enough that I would watch it again. Mm-hmm. If someone's like, "Hey, we're gonna watch the Sonic the Hedgehog movie," and I'm like, "Okay, I got 50 minutes to kill." Yeah. I'll watch it's it not again. that long either. It it's isn't. Like, it's only fifty minutes. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's it's two episodes of a of a OVA. Yeah, and I, and I guess it's like it's some it's like a TV special of some sort, and then they just collect that into a DVD and make it a movie or something. Yeah, some just sort. put it two episodes together. Yeah, I mean, there, there's a lot of uh, OVAs and stuff like that based on you know like a lot of franchises like comics and stuff like that. Yeah. So, so yeah, it, I mean, it's only natural that they would eventually do one for Sonic. So. And uh, a lot of the, the, the video game creators, uh, like Yuji Naka, is, like, he's a producer on this, so he, he was had some in charge. Yeah, I feel like Sega, the, the Sonic team, had a lot to do with, a lot more to do with this than most other non-video game interpretations. But like they're credited yeah. in, the, in, the, in the credits. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's neat that they had that involvement and that there were... It, because... Of its nature and the way it is, it's like I can see this being canonical to the video games. Yeah, themselves. it's more, it's like closer at least. Yeah. I mean, like obviously they had to include some other characters because, like I said, if they only used characters from the video games, it would be like mm. three characters, four characters, and there wouldn't be a lot. There wouldn't be a lot of context. Yeah, for them to work there, with. I mean, the stakes would be very small. I mean, yeah. I, I, I. I I guess if they did something with like the animal characters, like the, the like the little random characters that you save or something in the in the You're yeah, Sonic? And I mean like that, that's <laughs> okay. kind of like I think that was kind of like the genesis of the idea, like with the the freedom fighters stuff, mm, where it's yeah. like those are his little friends, yeah. you know. Well, this is like I with this whole OVA, 
I I really I appreciate it a lot more than most most of the games because uh, uh just because they keep to a consistent style in a way where it's like if they what kind of world would Sonic be in you know it's like what what kind of creatures what kind of characters would surround surround this guy and would because when I look at something like Sonic Adventure he's like he's this walking talking animal in a human world. Yeah. And that kind of, it always bothered me. Yeah, I never liked it either. It's like, so he's walking around with all these humans around him and they don't question it at all. (laughs) They're just like, like, oh, well, this is life now. (laughs) They they kind of, I guess, explained it in the OVA where it's like post-apocalyptic, so maybe something mutate happened to some animals I guess and so, people. But, I, don't I guess know. so, but at the same time, it's like, it's neat that they had characters around it that were like, sort of human, and that they looked like they would fit with Sonic. Mm. You know, it, it's like they had that style, like, like I was saying with Robotnik. Robotnik is like, basically the only human from the games. Mm-hmm. And so if you base another human, it's like, what would another human look like that? Mm. Like, like, sort of like, stylized and very like, uh, um, just shapely and 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 m- more more yes and voluptuous. Sam <laughs> Sarah. That's, that's not. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was about to say robotic voluptuous. <laughs> shapely. Oh yeah. Um, it's a, a my ball. Nice round shapely, shape. Yeah. But yeah, I, when I was a kid, I actually um I I liked the OVA because I liked the the character designs. Um, I didn't like the voices when I was little, but uh, I don't know. I yeah. guess I got used to them because I find them really charming and funny now. Um, but yeah, like uh, it, it's it's like that with me with like uh, Mega Man Eight with the cutscenes and that. It's like, <laughs> I. I honestly, I, I unironically love the voices in that because it's like, it, it's one of those things that is just charming and of the time anyway. Mm-hmm. So it's like, why, why not just accept it? It's like, it, yeah. it's, it doesn't have to be, you know, the, the whole canon thing. Or it's like, oh, it ruined whatever the hell mm-hmm. Mega Man was. No, <laughs> it, it's just a thing that happened and you can just move on from it or fix it. And it's just like, it, it there is a charm to it. And... You know, and I do still find Tails annoying at times in this. And oh God, Sarah is really annoying at times. Oh, as I well like because her she's too. yeah, and it because just because it's like there's a lot of yelling involved, and when when characters yell their lines, it starts oh, yeah. to grate on yeah. you. Yeah, no. Well, when I was a kid, I didn't like Sarah either, but I think it was just because she was like a girl, and like she was like <laughs> I didn't like that there were humans around. Like it really bothered me whenever there were like non cute cartoon animal characters and yeah. things that yeah. were supposed to be about cute cartoon animals. Um, yeah, it, it's kind of like that with me with like the when I was watching the Super Mario Brothers show and whenever they went into the real world or like the cavemen were around, I always thought to myself like, why do those characters have to be there? Yeah, I like, like the I don't mushroom see, people. Yeah, <laughs> I don't want to see non-cute cartoon thing. I mean, like now that I'm older, like I, I think Sarah's cute in her own ways, but mm-hmm. like I think that it really bothered me that like she wasn't like a cute little animal. Animal? Well, I mean, compared to the humans that you see in the video game, like you said, in Sonic Adventure or in right. Sonic 06, where it's just all just realistic. Just yeah. straight up human people. Yeah. <laughs> straight up like Final Fantasy. Yeah. Like, humans. Ten. At <laughs> least yeah. Sarah had a cute little cat tail she was, and she was like yeah. stylized. Well, she was yeah, graphic I'm, and stylized enough that she kind of almost fit in the world of Sonic. Yeah. It's like, I, I think they could have pushed her a little bit more. I think they were trying to go for that. You know that just that element of anime that kind of like would make it work. Well, there's like a conservatism. <laughs> there's like a conservatism like across with both. I mean, in in Western cartoons too, where mm-hmm. like people, when it comes to female cartoon characters, they're a little bit more likely to have them skew like mm. uh, hot, realistic proportions, yeah. rather than like allowing them to be yeah. cute little cartoon characters. Mm-hmm. Uh, but. Yeah, because like I. Uh, yeah, there. I I would see that like ha- that happens a lot with like uh, like almost every anime. There's always like the the whole like uh, pop aspect of it. It's like there's the focus of this girl character in this anime, and then you know merchandising comes in and all that. And I think they were kind of hoping for that with this oh, maybe. a little bit. Yeah, probably. Um, but at the same time, it's like you have Sonic. He's already a merchandise. <laughs> why why would you want to complicate things by? Like- having someone else be marketable compared to yeah. Sonic and that and it's, a, it's like, like what you were saying with Rover Dangerfield I have the other characters be <laughs> like, are you like honestly these comparing this to Rover Dangerfield 
Hey, hey, let me have my moment from Rover Dangerfield, yeah. like you did. The yeah, we were saying podcast. that, like, if you have a character that's already, it's like it's. I said in the in the last show, it's like a Jim Carrey movie. All the other characters have to be downplayed in order for Jim Carrey's character to be so extreme. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Same with Robin Williams to an extent, mm-hmm. and a lot of big physical or oh, yeah. improv heavy comedians. Yeah, yeah. But in the case, especially of this, if it's, it's like the focus Sonic. of that one actor right. as well. So. Here you have Sonic. People are coming to watch this movie because there's Sonic in it, and you yeah. want to see more of Sonic and those characters. I don't want to be this yeah. other character that no one. It was never. It was just created yeah. just for this movie. Yeah, and I and, and I'm one of those people that doesn't mind like new characters being introduced into stuff. It's like uh, it, it's just like I. I feel that they need more purpose. Like That's... in Rugrats? <laughs> Every time the ratings would go down, hey, let's add another character. <laughs> Tommy has a little brother. Yeah. Chucky gets a foster mom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's stuff like that. A... But it's like, yeah. Um, I, I, yeah, I, I still find like all of the designs appealing. I mean, they're really... I, I, I just don't really have anything bad to say about the, the look of it. It's, uh, I, I really enjoyed it. I, I really enjoyed looking at it. It's just like so, there's some moments where it's just like there's so much information coming in mm. that I'm just like, wait, what? Can we? <laughs> can, should we rewind this? Yeah. I, I, I feel like I missed something. Yeah. Um. So, but maybe it's about time we talked about the best and the worst for this. Okay. Yes, and it's now time for the segment where we talk about what is the best and, and the, the worst. worst. All right. So Geneva, you are uh, you are our guest. You will uh, you will start off with saying like what what is the worst thing about that you, that you would say about this? Do, do, are we talking like moments or elements? It's up to you. It's up to you. Whatever like, you think wh- is whatever the weakest you feel point is of like the movie. weakest thing. Um, I don't know. Uh, I guess the story the, the pacing's a little wild. I, I feel like the story's kind of beside the point. Mm. But yeah. uh, I mean, like it's <laughs> definitely like not very cohesive I, I guess maybe the sci-fi is presented in a way that's a little rushed mm-hmm. uh and uh doesn't feel very cohesive yeah hmm. yeah um, how about how about you um i would agree um i thought anytime there was anything expositional it kind of was like <laughs> right through it's like yeah. oh wait what what did you just say mm-hmm. and um you know uh sarah was annoying <laughs> she's a necessary evil i guess for the story yeah because she is like the damsel in distress of some at some sort I even believe. though the world is in distress in itself i, do we I really? think everyone's I, in distress except for sonic really i think that some of the best comedy moments come from sarah true though. with her and robotnik yeah, oh yeah like she's like what she's allowed to have some of the funniest cutest moments I've yeah no, she's no the only person who truly like beats up robotnik in the in the yeah movie. really yeah even it, sonic doesn't even it, touch him <laughs> and it yeah, and I do like that that part where they're like uh, they're playing against Sega Saturn, mm-hmm. like together. It's like it's it's a cute little element to it that uh, you know kind of like defines yeah that's true their characters yeah. a little bit. Like Robotnik's not really that. I mean, he's threatening, but he's not really a threatening person. Yeah, and um, even like his hostage is just like this does not care about him. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, but um, for me, um, I think the. <laughs> Uh, this is going to be tough because um, for me, honestly, the worst thing about it is there There are some things that I don't really feel are necessary to it. Just like the whole, the whole um, warp zone thing. That probably is like the worst thing to me because it's like if you're on the world and you're going to say like there's a warp zone ahead, that's kind of like are you... Are you trying to skip elements of the story? It feels or? like an excuse to not have them travel. Yeah, but it, but still, it's like there's the montage. There's the <laughs> mon- there's a whole montage where they're like running through everything. Why can't they just like appear at wherever they're supposed to appear? It's it's like one of those like the land of darkness. Oh, we got to get to Robotropolis where there's a warp zone up ahead. Zero, we're here. It, it, that was like so weird to me, and I don't really think it was necessary. Maybe so, it was explained in the rush sci fi, none of us seem to understand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. So much sci fi. So much. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so um, now that we've we've discussed the worst, what do you think is the best thing about this? Uh, Tales. <laughs> <laughs> uh... How did I know? <laughs> it's, like, it's like I just I, I mean, Tails is an your... appealing character. In no, he is. All the character designs of the the main Sega characters, yeah. basically everything to do with the way it looks and moves, mm-hmm. uh, I, I really like. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and Mike, what would you say is the, the best animation's thing? fantastic? I think it's a beautiful looking 
mm-hmm. movie. Yeah. The music is cool. Mm-hmm. It, it oh yeah, the yeah. The game. music. The, there's like some great stuff. Which I, 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 the only time, the only thing that I ever find, um, music wise about this is that that look alike song. The, at the end and if you heard the lyrics of that song it's really weird yeah. it's like it's a it's this girl that is basically talking about things she's looking at <laughs> it's like, like it's on a sunday ride in my bike i noticed all the things that look alike and then she starts making out a list <laughs> of things like a stop sign like a dog on the street grass on the ground it's an entire list. I have to like pull up the lyrics at some point. It's hilarious. That's beautiful. Yeah. Well, she's um, saying that that Sonic and Metal Sonic look alike, just like other things. I guess in that's the, world. the connection. Yeah, because mm. it's like it always confused me. as like, well, what connection does this song <laughs> propose? Exactly? I never looked at the lyrics, uh, but I do remember like hearing the look alike thing. And, yeah. And, and I, I literally like, I think I might have just heard that those words and been like, yeah, because Sonic looks like Metal Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there's probably like this whole backstory to that song and whatever is happening. Um, I would say the best thing for me um, is there is only one oh, Sonic. True. <laughs> what was true? The... That is really good. Also, strange, isn't yeah, it? I was about to say strange, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> there, yeah, there are really a lot of really hilarious lines. Dialogue. That's it. The Hulk, dialogue. Very hokey I mean, like, deliveries. the dialogue that you can understand. I mean, there's, like, some dialogue that just kind of, like, goes by really it's fast. It's the delivery of the it's dialogue. the delivery. And, <laughs> and it's, yeah, and, and there's a lot of, like, overemphasis of some certain words that are just really, it's just really awkward, like, uh, it's like, look, there is a Robotnik over there! And, like, <laughs> stuff like that. Thanks, Mr. Robotnik. <laughs> So I don't know I, stuff like that. Just like really, it, it tickles me. So, yeah. and I was just looking here at the IMDb page. Um, there is a a, a voice cast uh, 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 credit for Metal Sonic <laughs> for that one line that he does. Wow! And isn't it the voice director? It's I, I I'm not sure. Maybe I wish it was me. <laughs> no, you want that robotic voice? I wish that I would have been doing that I... in 1996 <laughs> or 99, whenever. Yeah, and unfortunately, we can't make a um, like a true comparison from the the English dub to the Japanese. Because we only uh, origi- watch the because we only watch like the English version because like we, we we like to watch them and listen to the movie instead of like reading reading it. the movie. It's also uh, the one that uh, I was familiar with, so I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I have exactly. More of a connection exactly. With it. It's like I grew up with that, so I I know a little bit more. So yeah. I, and we subjected it to you, and now now you know what it's like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But uh, yeah, with that said, I mean, I, I guess the general consensus is, is that uh, we really like the look of it. It's not a really good story at all. But it's Sonic, and you're but kind it's of Sonic. Like, it's like it's, you enjoy the ride. Like, look, yeah, exactly. If you're a Sonic fan, you're gonna like this movie. Though I I know Sonic fans who don't like this movie, and that's fine. I mean, really, it, are they like said I am purist? <laughs> no, they're <laughs> no, they're uh, uh, what what is it the uh, what was the other one? Sonic Underground? <laughs> no, the, no, the, no, the Adventures of Sonic. The oh, like, oh. I don't know no, any fans of that one. Uh, uh, Although, you don't know any fans of Sonic Underground? No, the Adventures oh, of Sonic. Oh, I mean, like, I think that, like, some people who like, like, who... Because it's, <laughs> it's pretty funny. Like, if you skew, like, you know, 90s goofy cartoons, I can definitely... Like, there's charm yeah. to it. Like, yeah. I, I didn't like that one very much as a yeah. child because I was like, I like the serious one. <laughs> I like the cool well, one. Well, like, I never saw the serious one. I've seen a few episodes of the yeah. cartoony one. Mm-hmm. I like the design of Robotnik, even though I prefer probably the Robotnik in this movie because mm-hmm. it's more like oh, the yeah, game. Be, yeah, he be, looks he looks like I, I, Teddy Roosevelt. Well, he's like <laughs> it's simplistic. He doesn't look it, like it, a dumpy uh, <laughs> looking, yeah, like Ralph Bakshi character. <laughs> Like he does in the, in yeah, the he's got like big the, elf boots and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Or he, it's weird because like they he, curl up at the mm-hmm. end. He <laughs> looks like a he looks like a dement like his head in the in the cartoony cartoon just looks like a demented nude. No, no to me, Sam. to me, he looks like a fat NASCAR racer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I gotta see that. He looks like if Pete was a human. Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> Mickey Mouse's Pete was a human. Wow. And you gave him a mustache, he has a peg leg, peg and... leg. <laughs> Kinda, kinda got a walrusy thing going on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he looks like yeah, like if you combine Pete with Wally Walrus from the Woody Woodpecker cartoon. Oh. Yeah, that's exactly it. 
it. Oh, I think that was what I was God. trying to put my finger oh, he's the on. Same I was shaped like, head. I was literally sitting here like, what is he like? He's like a walrus. He's like but I don't Wally know where. Walrus. Yeah. Oh, there it is. We solved the mystery. Oh, the mystery of, <laughs> oh, yeah, of, sir. of <laughs> Adventures Robotnik. Uh, so. Yeah, oh, little penguin, you're not going to get my lunch. Jumping <laughs> in, it's, <laughs> Santa, it's Mr. Santa Claus. <laughs> oh, so, oh. Next time I raise pigs by Yolly. <laughs> Woodpecker. <laughs> <laughs> Swedish, a Swedish walrus. Yeah. yeah. We is, that what we're really, is that what we're really ending on? Yeah. Swedish <laughs> walrus? Sweet. <laughs> well, I, I don't know if you have anything else to add, Geneva, if you'd like to... Uh, add anything to i, I to, could talk about sonic forever so oh. like you better just cut me off <laughs> <laughs> yeah um so yeah that that was our that was our adventure <laughs> in uh sonic the hedgehog movie um if you liked what you heard uh please uh give us a favorable review on itunes and or stitcher and uh, send us sonic comics me uh <laughs> send me things actually <laughs> just do that all right <laughs> so if you want to send geneva sonic things then uh <laughs> come to our uh, facebook page which is animated anarchy cast and give us a like and uh that would probably be the best way to get a hold of us if you have any questions that you would like to hear on the show or uh any uh suggestions or uh uh, just make comments regardless and we'll we'll post updates every once in a while and uh yeah that's just the best way to get a hold of us so uh thank you f- so much for listening to us um geneva if you would like to uh tell everyone how how to get a hold of you on twitter oh uh my handle is uh cartoon fun time all <laughs> one word but my name is geneva hodgson if you google me you can find my stuff through there mm-hmm. um uh that's it. Yeah, <laughs> and and I have to say, like Geneva, it's like you, your artwork is fantastic, and oh, um, the, the work. I mean, working with you, I mean, like the the work that I've seen from you is just like I, I think you're really really talented, and uh, it's really nice to have you as a guest on the show. So uh, even to, I'm to, blushing to right talk now. about to talk about like um, the the weird world of Sonic the Hedgehog. It's like I I honestly would not talk to anyone else about sonic <laughs> <laughs> honestly wow what a high honor <laughs> <laughs> because like you just have like that this deep appreciation for it and i just find that a lot more fun than with someone you know it's like we have like mutual agreements on things and it's like you know it, it's just fun to talk about stuff like that so well, i would like to you. really thank you for being on the show yeah, thanks. So. thank you so much for having me yeah it was so, a pleasure yeah yeah and uh mike of course your twitter handle uh at a guy who draws awesome and mine is awd twit um i am andrew i'm mike I'm and this has been animated anarchy and we'll see you next time Bye-bye. bye bye That was fun. Yay. Yeah. Well, I want to ask you a couple of questions, Geneva. Oh, uh, what's that? Uh, one, I saw, I think you posted a Vine or a video at one point. You watch a version of Troll in Central Park where like the oh, cell yeah. was exposed. No, I think what it was. What copy is that? I think it was, was I think it was on Netflix. Like, I think really? that the version on Netflix has like disappearing heads and shit. Like, I don't know she, what did they you, did. Do you know what I'm talking about? No. She watched and she, she and I just hear her laughing. <laughs> she watches yeah. a lot of weird no, stuff. No, but it's, it's hilarious. She, like, <laughs> the funniest thing recently was. I love you, following yeah. her like at late nights but, and like when she's watching something. Yeah. It's like, we get to hear about yeah, it. Yeah, I love seeing your tweets about like, I just saw you, like, what was it last week? You're playing the re- the Rugrats Search of Reptar game. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I played that game. I it's love so that when I was it's kid. It's weird. It's, so weird. At one point, it turns into a fucking golf game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you play it as a kid or did you play it recently? I played it as a kid. Okay, yeah, yeah. I, I remember I got it for Christmas one year. And like just like the other week, like I was like, <gasps> out of nowhere. I hadn't thought about Rugrats in years. I'm like, we have to play Rugrats Search for Rectar. Because we, we always like, like to watch and play weird things all the time. So yeah. we put it's it so on. funny. And That's it turns great. out it was the most amazing PS1 game we put it on. Like it was yeah. so it's good. It's weird because like... You go inside, I think it was, I forget, but they, in, in the golf, I remember going and just, because you, you can explore and not like, fuck the golf ball. I'm just going to go look <laughs> yeah, around. Yeah, and you really go inside weird. the pyramid and you find like 
like 150 cookies because that's like the <laughs> currency in the game is cookies. I remember just looking around, and if you go on the back side of cookies. if you go into the back side of the of the of the pyramid, you're like, oh, there's a door here, and you just Ooh, walk in, and it's like a maze. We didn't find that. That's find incredible. It. We should it's play weird. that again. Yeah, you just then, heard a game pro pro ten. And, right <laughs> and, and then like so. at the end of the game, you play as Reptar. Yeah, yeah, we and did it's that. like that's the best part of the game, and it only lasts like. Two minutes, <laughs> and then that's it. I, well, I, so it was you on Twitter who said like that's the best. Like, hang on for the best part because somebody tweeted me saying like the hang on for the be- the ending is the best part. And then we did, and like we, we were like, oh, well, I don't get what's so exciting about this. And then like Reptar starts dancing at the end, and then he just like keeps going for like a minute. <laughs> yeah, and a half, it goes and on I'm, like, and on. Yeah, you know what? This is pretty worth I it. I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> I remember that game because it's so weird seeing those characters. Oh, I mean, they're word. ugly to begin with. Yeah. It's they're just translated to 3D. Like Chucky's eyes don't work. Oh, so it's see, insane. It looks really weird. Yeah, yeah. Angelica, like there's a cut. I remember you posted the cutscene where Angelica just is like, yeah, staring for like, a really she just, long like, time. Like literally, there's a cut, Her and then Angelica just like does this for like. 20 seconds and then it cuts to again like it's, it's really, really weird fucked up. wow and then but we were saying about the troll in central park apparently i guess on netflix if you watch the version that's on netflix i guess the frame that they have of it yeah is wider than the actual resolution it, it, it that must should have be. been some sort really? of special there's a lot of moments where something. like there's a scene where i guess what they're sleeping or and uh, um, no the troll is sleeping. sleeping and then he's like come on and he takes the girl away and you just see the cell they they stop painting the edge of the cell so yeah. you just see them like the edge oh really I can show it to you yeah it's like, so that, weird and I remember just seeing why that why on like, Netflix I don't know it must have just like probably because nobody's fucking watched that movie it's a terrible movie who's gonna <laughs> sit through it like I don't oh, even I know, know we know I don't know, even so know we how know he sat person. through it oh do, like, he likes it oh, it was his childhood oh my, favorite movie oh my god movie from is he like the weirdest person person you know because i can't imagine <laughs> that, like anybody who loved that movie as a child like would be normal i, I know i know that uh, he's gonna listen to he, the show <laughs> and he's gonna i'm just gonna imagine him just going <laughs> turn to the dom de Luis well, when he laughs well, and some, i just like, can hear him well at here. some point when Corey gets here we're gonna have to like we're gonna have, we're gonna have to do that episode with oh, troll central next Park. time he's in town we have to make sure to plan a day so yeah we can go, yeah exactly i don't know about watching the movie I <laughs> It's well, a that's really the... long slog, and I watch a lot of garbage. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I mean, and I that's miss... the thing that I really like. It's like you watch a lot of this stuff. Oh, and I it's watch just like... so much garbage. I, but I love like you. I mean, do you do the what? What is it? The um, the YouTube. What is it? The YouTube channel. Uh, no. Who does that one? Is it, oh, are you talking about oh, that wait, monster? Monster Mo- Oh yeah, I'm part of that. Oh, it's so okay. funny. Yeah, yeah, to, yeah. That's me and a... Frank mostly. Oh, yeah, and also Frank, like yeah. some of I haven't seen a lot of posts lately on that. Uh, um, yeah, we've been, like, busy. Like, they're yeah. traveling a lot right now. Oh, okay. And, like, well, I moved. That makes sense. I used to live right next to them, so it was easier to, like, do something just like that. Just go over to their house moved. and do stuff. Yeah, yeah that's true. Because that yeah. stuff is fun. Like, me and my old roommates, we'd sit down and watch all of them. And just <laughs> laugh so hard. Oh, that's beautiful. I that just... makes me so happy. Because those, those are, like, the... Because I don't want to yeah, watch I love the whole movie. <laughs> I mean, the funniest thing for the longest time was... I would every once in a while in my mind I would just go she's playing her tuba ah! yes. <laughs> from the, it was like the penguin yeah oh yeah that's a, that, that, that's a, Scooter the penguin I, Scooter the penguin good. I, oh, I watched like, I love like the, a proverbial log I love the dancing sea stars <laughs> yeah that's my favorite they, the they darling starlings just, where it's just like this like samey little like, animation and then she does the splits and they have giant lips and like yeah. just horrible faces that cost me five bucks <laughs> whatever you yeah. say or like it, I was like oh, I, <laughs> I just uploaded that like that that uh, Rob Schneider interview from uh, the 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 Legend of the Legend Dragon, of the Dra- Legend of the Sea, Legend of the Sea. Where we he... watched this a long time ago. Oh my God. Andrew bought for like twenty bucks. He bought just a crap ton of just awful bargain bin movies. Yeah, I, I, do I have, you have any left? Oh. No, no, yeah, I do. There, <laughs> I'll, I'll show them to you. Them. I'll, I'll I'll show you the shelf. I'll show oh. you what I have because but... he, he got one and it was one called Legend of the Sea mm-hmm. and the star. I mean, even on the box, it's just Rob Schneider is the star <laughs> of the movie. And there's an interview. You tell it's a special edition. The, 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 I mean, there's special a, edition. a special edition. There's a special feature. Where they're interviewing Rob Schneider and he looks like high off his ass. <laughs> he's like, he's like, he looks like he's on something because he does he not want to like be. He looks like he just there. woke up. Yeah, and and I guess and like he's what? answering questions that like some probably random kids like wrote in or something. Like, like going to the it? beach? What's yeah? Do you like going to the beach? Yeah. I was like, yeah, yeah. I, I, <laughs> 
I really, um, I, don't I really, like the beach. I don't like uh, being in the sun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's And it's really like, it's shot with like, it looks like a shot with yeah. like a 1997 he, camcorder. It looks really sickly. It's like, it's very, it's, at the, it's entertaining, but at the same time disturbing. Yeah. You know? We so, watch it in disbelief. We were just yeah, like, what the like, hell? Yeah, so... Yeah, that that's a thing. <laughs> that's beautiful. beautiful. Yeah, it's, yeah. So like, we love. That stuff. Look- we'll have to show you the the yeah. shelf. There's so many because we were gonna do it, and then we got like four movies in, and we're like, we can't do. This <laughs> yeah. We wow, watched- you guys don't have a lot of stamina. No, we, we no. do. We just we, <laughs> we do. It, but 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 it's also like the whole thing. It's like you know we're not really that close, um, like distance to each yeah, other. I live, so I live in southern. So Burbank. it's like, but because um, like if it was possible, I would do this like a nightly thing. Yeah, so come just, over and we watch one. Just of these watch movies. something. And, we watched a bunch. We watched like Don Quixote. Oh yeah, Donkey X. Donkey X, which is the story of apparently Don Quixote's Don uh, and uh, Don, Don Quixote was Don Sancho, Quixote's, Pons, Sancho Panza's oh, Sancho donkey, Panza's donkey. And Don Quixote's horse. Wow. Yeah. And it's like it's supposed to be on like uh, the perspective of the donkey or like the animals. Mm-hmm. And then it just switches halfway through the movie too. But it, I love when it, stuff does stuff like that. It really is just the story of Don Quixote and it's like the and donkey doesn't really have any like <laughs> point to it. And it ends pretty darkly. There's like I, I I mean, I don't want to really spoil it, but it's just like there's like a, a, a some sort of uh, spirit that comes <laughs> up, and then it's like pulled down into hell. Ooh. It's like, oh, thank you for releasing my spirit, and then he just like goes right to hell. That <laughs> like, sounds beautiful. <laughs> it's wonderful. It's it was like the 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 whole that movie. It's like we already did a podcast of it. It was like the uh, um, help I'm a fish thing, and then there's that there's this moment where the fish like turns into a human and he's underwater and then he's like what happens when a fish becomes too human he's like he can't breathe oh and, and he then just it's just drowns on screen he wow. drip. it's just like and the music stops and you just see him music stops into the darkness. he drip. wow that's dark yeah but we we realize it's like well it's a movie we haven't really seen but it's like when we watched it it was like wow this is actually pretty good yeah <laughs> that's why we do it because it's every once in a while you'll find like a pleasant yeah we, surprise. we find like oh, yeah. a, we find like a gem and we just like you know we just like talking about it so yeah, that's why kind of like why we do this is because sometimes mm-hmm. there's movies that we remember like vaguely there's a movie i don't know if you've ever seen it but it's one of my favorite of just bad animated movies mm-hmm. um there's one called david and the magic pearl I have not it was, seen it was that. Made oh, in like, we need to show her It was her made that. in like Czechoslovakia. <laughs> and you got to show her oh, the Elm Chanted the Forest. The Elm Chanted Forest. I feel like I might have seen Hot the Elm you might have, <laughs> you might have seen it like because it will like aired on Disney, on Disney Channel, Channel like ages ago. ago. Wait, is that the one with like that, that like the Michael's painter? in charge. Michael's in charge. Like there's like a song about like dance. Then they're like no. everybody's dancing. Oh, damn. No, no, there's no. like this fucked it's up like movie that's sort of so, so, sort of thematically similar where like there's like these dancing mushrooms and there's like a really cool hot mushroom named Michael apparently. <gasps> no, oh, yes. Yes, it is. That that is. It all is. right, all right. It's Michael Mushroom or something. Yeah. Yeah. It's like he's okay. supposed to be Michael Jackson, and it's like, and then it goes into like some songs, like da 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 da. Yeah, da. And like right before the song, they go, "Michael's in charge." Uh, for some reason, that really stuck with me yeah. when I was like, like I, don't I know, completely 14, forgot about 14. that. Like, because we would talk, we always talk about there's the the villain who's this big cactus man, <laughs> and he hates there's a beaver. There's yeah, like we, he the hates beaver. Beavers. He's like, mm. he makes this sound, <laughs> and then every time. Someone mentions the beaver. He goes, "Beaver, did you say? Did you say? Did you say, beaver?" <laughs> and then he just hits like the magician next to him. <laughs> like, hmm. I might be, I might, yeah. Maybe we should give that. A, uh, I should give that a whirl sometime. Yeah, please do. Yeah. Please do. Like, I like to like bring stuff back because Be- Be- Becky and Frank, like, uh, uh, like one of the core things we do as friends is even mm. the stuff we don't even like do stuff with. Like we don't. Mm-hmm. Like most of the movies we watch, we don't do anything with. Yeah. Right. We just have like this growing collection of bad movies. Really like fondly like oh, like a, a very specific kind of bad. Like yeah. we're connoisseurs of this very specific sort of bad. <laughs> yeah. Movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that's, we, a, that's great. I haven't seen Becky or Frank and I think the last time I saw Frank, I was at uh, I think I was at our uh, Rebecca Sugar and Ian Jones Cordy's house for Probably. like a birthday party. Yeah. Oh wow! And that was like a year ago. Mm. Wow. Yeah. And I, they've been super busy. Oh, they together. they keep real busy. Yeah. Like, I mean, they're always mean, on the go. They've been traveling for the last two weeks. So. Yeah. yeah. I haven't yeah. seen them in ages. Yeah. That's cool. But yeah, but <laughs> that's cool. Yeah. Awesome. Anyway. Yeah. So it's uh, 